In this tutorial, we're going to export our point cloud from Register 360. So I'm assuming that you have a point cloud already created and edited in Register 360, and uh, and you've got the points all cleaned up. That That's the subject of another tutorial. Uh, so we've got a finished point cloud. So the thing we need to do here is, in general, we're going to need to eliminate some of our points, and we're going to need to trim the excess, okay? And um, uh, you can see I'm using a fairly small point cloud, uh, and if I click on the bundle, you can see that this is 746 million points, which seems like a lot, but uh, you will probably be dealing with point clouds that are um, several billion points, and uh, and poetry can't handle that uh, that number of points. So um, one thing we can do to um, trim our points is to just go ahead and delete all the points around the edge but uh, there's a new there's a uh, a new feature in in register 360 that I'm going to show you that that can help to uh, um, to limit the scope of what we're exporting and that is limit boxes so uh, if I go into our bundle view you can see that this um, this is a scan of a basement of a house but you can see we've done um, outdoor scan so there's a lot of extraneous stuff I could go in and export or delete all the all these extra points but I can also make a limit box and I'll show you how um, what that looks like if I bring up our limit box manager uh, I'm not going to show you how to make limit boxes in here that's for that's another tutorial but if I make this active you can see that this limit box um, is just clipping out the basement of this house and and it, and it just eliminates everything else and one of the things that uh, uh, register 360 now has is this export box that means that I can I can tag this limit box for export so you can create multiple limit boxes in um, in your model and export them all as separate as separate models in our case we're just using it to uh, eliminate all the extraneous uh, points and just focus on the, the basement of this house so uh, as long as I have that checked, that will be active when we go into our export step. So I've got the, you, you don't have to have this turned on, but you have to have it checked for export. So to, um, once we've got our model set up, we've got a limit box established. Uh, we click the finalize tab. And then we click this accept button. And then we click the large accept button. That brings up the report tab. And in this report tab, uh, we don't really need to generate uh, uh, the type of report that um, that they expect. We, they expect you're generating a report for a client. We just want to get the assets out. So I'm going to uncheck everything except for assets. And then I'm going to click the configure button. And under configure, we want publishing options. And the publish options give us several different options for point cloud um, exports. And what we're going to export is an E57. What Pawtree wants is a uh, .las file, but we don't have that option. So we're going to choose E57 as one file. When I, s when I click the button, it asks me where to put it. And so I'm going to uh, find a spot for it in D export test and test and we're going to call this Letcher 21 and hit save um, now we need to set up uh, some things on the bottom here so one thing is this this button here published by limit box if we really want to only publish what's inside of our limit box we need to select this and choose the limit box we want to export. So if you have multiple limit boxes, they'll show up in this list. And we only have one, so we're going to click Export. I'm going to click OK. And another option that is in this newer version of uh, Register 360 is the ability to decimate the point cloud. Now, um, this is important because in the past, we've had to export the full cloud, and it's been difficult to open in other programs. Now we can decimate it right here when we're exporting. And, uh, and what decimate means is that reducing, it's going to reduce the number of points in our cloud. 
So I'm going to click this. And it gives us two options for subsampling. One is a, um, uh, a sampling factor, and we're going to use this reduce cloud. Um, and what this does is lets us choose a, uh, a spacing. So uh, right now it's set up for five millimeter. So we can choose um, different, um, different units of measure and different amounts. So if I choose five millimeter, that means that it's going to reduce the number of points to one every five millimeters, one point every five millimeters. Uh, numbers between five and 10 millimeters uh, seem like they work pretty good. It gives you an, enough density and it reduces the number of points effectively. You might have to play around with this number, but we're gonna start off with five millimeters on this cloud and I'm gonna click okay. Okay, and then one other thing, we have to uh, click this export options button and make sure this reads single cloud unstructured. Um, for us, we want uh, we, we don't want each individual scan to be a separate, um, a separate entity. We want it all to be put into one scan, so we click that. We're, so we're gonna publish only what's in the limit box and we're going to uh, decimate the point cloud further. So when I hit publish, it says that um, this already exists, so it's, it says we need to create a new one. So I just hit create new. I'm just going to call it Letcher 2. And it's saying the report needs to be regenerated, and we click OK. And then it's going to export the point cloud. And this part can take a long time. It is, uh, it's resampling the cloud, and it is um, uh, writing all new points. So uh, this can take, on a point cloud that is several billion points, this can take many, many hours. Um, so this is where you uh, go home and pick this up in the morning. I'm going to stop recording and, uh, um, and I'm going to start with a, with a new tutorial after this. So the, this is the end of this tutorial. The next one is going to be creating the LAS file. Uh, in cloud compare.